Now for the second Victor Chandler chase. This one's got the word handicap lodged in there, though. So it's the Victor Chandler handicap chase, and they're going over four furlongs further than they did the last one. This is two more than five furlongs. It's a naught to one sixty, so it's almost as good as a group race, isn't it? So Ozark clear at the top, though, for Vinnie Gerard, Penny Bray, Craig Beckwith, Luxor, and Lake San Quar for Darren Thompson. Coralie Ava Dabravine for Thomas Rogers, Major Left Alex Cherry, Market Tavern Grand Clutterbuck, Balo Clasp, James Shaler, Nelly Sultane, Thomas Rogers, Holy Joe, John Morgan, Northern Life Kevin Minahan, MC Hammer Paul Rhodes, Trouble Evelyn for James Shea, and Blue Daub for Stu Gray. Called in and racing already then in the second of today's Victor Chandler chases. It's the handicap and Coriolava Ava Dabravine was interested in the lead, but it's pretty much the same as in the last race because it's going to be a John Morgan and a Craig Beckwith that are going to dispute the lead. And it looks like Craig Beckwith was, might get the upper hand this time because Penny Bray is in front at the moment. Holy Joe on the inside, the Grey is in second. Uh, gap back to Lake San Juan. They get to their first time. Craig Beckwith was run straight through it and immediately surrendered the lead to Holy Joe. So over the second, jumped it much better that time, but. The one that jumped both of the first two pretty badly was Blue Door, but the back as they get to the third hand, there's a fall of there, it's Balo Clasp has gone, so that one's out of it. Short run to the fourth, very quickly get over the first four fences, and it's Penny Bray, who's settled down into a three-quarter length lead from Holy Joe in second, and then Major left in third, Lake San Quar on the inside is fourth, and comes Ozark clear in the green with the darker green sleeves, on the inside of that one is Lanelli Sultane and the green with the red cap and Coria Lima Dabravine oh, that one in similar colours again lots of green silks in this league as they get over number 5 and Holy Joe and Penny Bright dispute the lead the Lake San Quara Major left just behind them as they walk past the stand there and take the that'll be the final one on the next circuit and Holy Joe and Penny Bray are about four lengths clear of Lake San Quar in third and then Major Left in fourth Lundy Sultan is next and then Courier Lee with Dab Ravine with Luxor and Ozark clear and Trouble Lee and then MC Hammer and Market Tavern with Northern Life just tucked in behind them with a bit of a gap opening up now to Blue Daub who's the back marker but has the loose horse for company. And Penny Bray and Holy Joe are nip and tuck at the moment. Five or six lengths clear of Lake Saint Croix. Get over the next. We'll safely over that one. Blue Daub, we assume, got over it okay. But Penny Bray and Holy Joe. Major left back in third. Get to the eighth. So if we have that one as well, Northern Life just at the back of the main group. Over this ditch they go. Uh, also if we have that as well. With Penny Bray now length clear. Over the next up, better jump though by Holy Joe. See that one move back alongside again. Gap back to Major Left. MC Hamel and Ellie Sultana, Lake Saint Croix. Carolina Dabravine just trying to get a bit closer. You can just see Blue Daub Shadow poking into the shot. At the, right over on the right hand side of the screen, but it's at the top end, Penny Bray and Holy Joe disputed. They've got six furlongs still to go. And this is at the 11th, and they're all safely over that one. With Holy Joe in front again now. Next they go, now the leading pair are coming back to the pack as MC Hammer moves through to second. Penny Brace just lost her place. They get over to 13th, and over that one they go, and it's Holy Joe who's in the lead by about a head to MC Hammer and Major Left. Jumping one on the outside there was Lanelli Sultane. That one's coming through with a challenge. Stable mate Coriolis with Dab Ravine is also getting into it as well. This race is suddenly changing complexion as um, Penny Bray drops right out of it at the back, but it's Holy Joe in front. Holy Joe now being 
impressed by Northern Life. Lanelli Sultan is next, then Magic left. Lake Sanqua is trying to run on again. Coriolis with Dabravis just hit a bit of a flat spot as they come to the second last, and over it they go. And it might just be Northern Life in the lead now. Northern Life from Holy Joe and Lanelli Sultan, then Lake Sanqua and Major left. They're coming down towards the final fence then, and it's Northern Life in front. Northern Life leads into the final fence, gets over it nicely, gets over it well, gets away from it well, being chased again there now by Holy Joe, and inside the final furlong is Northern Life on this near side from Holy Joe, and Holy Joe's beginning to get back up again, and Holy Joe is going to take it, Holy Joe's going to be the one that's going to be close for the minor place since Northern Life Market haven't finishing really well, might just have got up to steal second, and all the way back to Blue Door, was running out of the end and nearly caught Penny Bray. This time that John Morgan Gray did prevail and took it by a good three lengths. Major left got up to be third as well. Northern Life looked a big danger at one point and ended up fourth. Let's take a full look. It's Holy Joe for John Morgan, the winner. Market Tavern for Graham Clutterbox, second. Major left for Alex Cherry, third. Northern Life for Kevin Minahan was in fourth. And Lake Saint Croix for Darren Thompson was fifth. <laughs>